KS Services is now offering preventative maintenance plans as low as $12 a month. Preventative maintenance is so important when it comes to your HVAC system. Let us come check your system out and perform our 22-point inspection. It's better to be safe than sorry. We have so many plans to choose from and special offers that go along with them. Call today for more information. 205-322-9090. Alabama license number 11120. The Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Tuesday, the 8th of January. I'm James Spam. After this mild day today, the weather turns colder for the rest of this week and rain begins about the time the weekend arrives. Let's take a look at things. This is the upper air look across the country. Broad troughing developing over the east. That's going to pull down colder air starting tomorrow. And really not much happening today. That's the visible satellite view. The sky partially sunny. Had a few patches of light rain this morning. Nothing on radar this afternoon. And more than likely we stay dry through Friday. And yes, it feels good. Look at Tuscaloosa. 72, Montgomery 73, Birmingham at 70 degrees on this January day. But kind of back to reality tomorrow and especially on Thursday. As some of the cold air up north and out west moves in here by Thursday, we'll see highs in the 40s. Thursday morning, we start the day below freezing down in the 20s. Wind advisories from the high plains down through parts of Illinois, Indiana, Ohio. Winter weather advisories for parts of West Virginia. And some of the states in the northeast and the northwest, things are quiet down here. Got a marginal risk of severe storms through tonight for parts of eastern Ohio, western Pennsylvania. Actually had an EF1 tornado in Ohio today. But, of course, down here things are quiet. Here's the precipitation for the next seven days. The west coast stays relatively wet. And for us, rain amounts one-half to one inch for the north, under one-half inch for the south. And the next significant rain will likely be on Saturday. So, model fans, let's go. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at noon. Troughing on the east coast. Pretty tight gradient. It will be a sunny day, but windy and much cooler with a high between 52 and 55. Thursday, we start the day in the 20s. The high only, 46 to 49. We'll be in the 40s Thursday afternoon. This is Friday. Friday morning cold. The GFS showing 25 at Birmingham. Coldest morning of 2019 so far. And the high Friday should be in the low 50s. The sky partially sunny. Rain off to the west. And Saturday as the weekend begins, a surface wave brings rain in here. Probably nothing too heavy. Again, rain amounts, I'd say, about one-half inch. No thunder, no chance of severe weather, just rain at times. The high should be in the lower 50s. And Sunday will be cloudy, maybe kind of chilly. Uh, we could be in the 40s much of the day. <clears throat> maybe some lingering light rain Sunday morning, but I think the bulk of the day will be dry, but the sky will likely be cloudy. Monday of next week. We'll call it partly sunny. The high should be around 50 and a week from today. Tuesday, the 15th, troughing off the East Coast, a northwest flow aloft here, and a cool, dry air mass. Let's go out 10 days. Friday of next week, the 18th, a zonal flow. And again, a dry air mass in place. Things look pretty quiet here, really, for the next 10 days or so. Temperatures after today, colder. You can see a number of days, highs in the 40s. But most days, low 50s, lows in the 30s, and again, that's very, very close to average values for January in Alabama. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.